Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 11 in my 12 part course on video production for small business owners and nonprofits. In this chapter, we are discussing two topics. First, I'm going to show you how to add both open and closed captions to your video. And then I'm gonna walk you through the export settings so that your video is properly formatted for YouTube. For those of you who might be jumping into this chapter, the goal of this course is to teach small business owners how to use your iPhone in order to create a commercial to support your business. In the next and final chapter of this course, I'm gonna teach you how to upload that video to YouTube, pair it up with Google Ads, and make it so that when people are watching YouTube videos in your local community, they will see your commercial as the advertisement that plays before other videos. Without any further ado, let's begin the class. Let's start by changing a few settings so that in the future, when you go to export a video from Final Cut Pro, you have it perfectly formatted for YouTube with one click. I'd like you to go to the File menu and then go to Share and select Add Destination. Now what I want you to do is to drag Export File to the top of this list. Then we're gonna click into it and where it says Format, we're gonna change this to Computer. Here where it says Video Codec, we're gonna change it to H.264 better quality. And when it comes to resolution, if you shot your video in 4K, go ahead and make it 4K. Otherwise, if you shot your video in 1080p, go with this option here. Finally, let's rename this so that we can actually remember what the setting is for. And I'm just gonna call it YouTube settings. Great, so now anytime in the future you need to export a video for YouTube, all you have to do is go here to the share button at the top right and click on where it says YouTube and you're good to go. There is one more setting that we need to change and that is in regards to closed captions. At this point, I'd like you to click into the top menu where it says modify and click on edit roles. By default, it will probably say ITT in this spot. If it does, I want you to click on the minus symbol next to it and then let's click the plus symbol to add a caption role. Now I'd like you to select SRT and click apply. I'd be happy to translate all those settings that we just went over, but frankly, it's not really that important. What is important is that I now show you how to add captions to your video. There are two types of captions, open captions, which are burned into the video, or closed captions, which give the user the option whether or not to enable them. The difference between making your captions appear as open versus closed is one click. So you might want to consider doing a little A-B testing to see which one performs better. The shortcut to add a caption is option and the letter C as in Charlie. Thinkific students, my apologies, I forgot to include that shortcut on your PDF guide. Please add that one manually. When I press option C, my caption appears above the project. Now I can type in whatever text I want to display during this period of time. If you need to extend how long that text is displayed, it works just like a normal title. Just put your cursor at the end and then extend it as necessary. By the way, the name of that type of edit is technically known as a ripple edit. I don't believe we covered that earlier, but I thought I would mention it. If you would like to make any other changes like the color or different formatting options, you will find those here in the inspector. To save yourself a little bit of work, if you do decide to make changes to the formatting or the color of your captions, in that case, it is a lot easier to duplicate a title rather than create a new one every time you need one. We've already covered this in a past chapter, but let's review it for good measure. So anytime you want to duplicate anything, all you need to do is hold down the option key on your keyboard and then drag that file to the left or right and it will immediately create a second copy. So now all you need to do is swap out the text, reposition the timing, and you're good to go. For rather obvious reasons, captions cannot overlap. If you do, it will turn red, so don't. Okay, folks, that's it. Our video is done, and now it's time to export everything. Let's click on our little shortcut that we just created, and at this point, I'm gonna make sure that the name is consistent. You don't need to actually worry about the description or the keywords, so let's just ignore those sections. Now, let's click on the tab that says Roles. If you would like to have open captions in your video, just click right here where it says Captions, and then where it says Burn in Captions, select English SRT. To add closed captions to your video, just check this box where it says export each SRT language as a separate file. Let's now click next and choose where to save our files. For now, I'm just gonna save everything to the desktop. After about a minute, we have two files, the video itself and the SRT file, which contains all of the closed caption data. In the last video of this series, we are going to upload our commercial to YouTube and I'm gonna teach you how to turn it into a targeted ad using Google Ads. 
Please note, in order to be able to do this, you do need to have either a Gmail account or a Google account. So if you don't already have one set up, I will give you a link in the notes section. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Class dismissed.